Shalom Temple Israel. Now this isn't my usual spot to be filming a video from, but you make do wherever you are, and I apologize if there's uh, any noise in the background. If you've been listening to my talks on Friday night, you know that this period of time, the counting of the Omer, has a number of modern holidays in it. Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Memorial Day, Yom HaZikaron, the Memorial Day for Israel's soldiers, Yom HaTzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day, and finally, the last day related to the modern state of Israel starts this Sunday, Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Reunification Day, celebrating the end of the Six-Day War in 1967, the reunification of the city under Israeli control, and the ability of Jews to access the Kotel and our holy sites in the old city of Jerusalem. And it's a day that we both celebrate, but also recognize that it's a complicated day, it's a complex day. While by law, Jerusalem is a unified city uh, under control of Israel, if you've been to Jerusalem, you know that it's still very much a divided city, with West Jerusalem being the part that we're more familiar with, the Jewish section of the city, and East Jerusalem being mostly the, at the Palestinian section of the city, and that there are tensions between those two halves of the cities. But whatever, however you feel about the politics of the situation, being able to visit Jerusalem is one of the most incredible experiences. It's my favorite city to visit because it's a city on the other side of the world, where as soon as I get there, I know exactly where I'm going. I've been there enough times, I know my way around, I love visiting the sites, there's no end to the pl different tourist historical sites that you can see. There's no end to the great kosher restaurants. And uh, some of the things that I like about visiting Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, are running into people you know all over the place. You have no idea who's living in Israel, who you know, or who's visiting at the same time. And, uh, and running into them at restaurants or just on the street is, is a special experience. I also like the chance to visit different synagogues. When I led a tour to Israel, uh, first time visitors two years ago, we went to three different synagogues over the course of Shabbat and got to see everything from a traditional Sephardic synagogue uh, to uh, Israeli Masorti, to what conservative Judaism looks like in Israel. And all of these things just within a few blocks of each other in the capital of the state of Israel, in our ancient holy city. So I know we're approaching the end of the pandemic, God willing, and we look across the ocean and we see that Israel is even farther ahead than we are in getting out of this. The life in Israel is returning to normal much more quickly than it is here. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day when we can travel together as a community to Israel and get to explore Jerusalem together and appreciate all that the city has to offer. So I'm looking forward this week to seeing many of you in person on Friday night for Wodi Shabbat outside in our brand new uh, courtyard, which we're going to use for services for the very first time, and even more of you for Shabbat morning for in-person services. And if you'd like, you can still go onto the website and register for Shabbat morning services. We'd love to see you in person at Temple Israel. Have a Shabbat Shalom, everyone.